morning, everybody. already I just stopped here to grab my coffee you guessed it we're in a rush so we started this trip in Valcourt Quebec actually since I left home I left home from Winnipeg drove to Laval Quebec which is right beside Montreal from there we made the mistake of driving through Montreal to get to Valcourt Quebec don't go through Montreal through the tunnel under the river don't do it it took two hours to move one mile that traffic was insane. They got construction going on there. The locals know to avoid it already. I knew, I've been told, I have friends, I have a good friend, Peter, who lives in Montreal, and he's gonna laugh and laugh and laugh once he finds out that I dared go through the tunnel. Because we always talk about it, avoid the tunnel, avoid the tunnel. <laughs> I try, I figured today will be different. Today will be different. Today it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Because it was so much shorter distance-wise for me to go through than to go all the way around the city. Because I was already in Laval, I had to go through the city. Would have been way faster for me to go, all the way around and paid the toll from where I was in Laval, but whatever, lesson learned, and I'm teaching you my lessons that I've learned. Stay out of Montreal, the traffic is insane. Not just at the tunnel, everywhere. The traffic is just really bad in Montreal, like exceptionally bad. But anyways, went through Montreal, went to Valcourt, Quebec, we picked up this load. This load's going to northwestern Alberta, well, central western Alberta, northwest of Edmonton. I'm stopping at home for a reset. Hoping to get there uh, tomorrow morning. We'll see. Uh, hopefully the traffic will be good and there won't be any accidents or anything blocking the highway. It's getting very close to the time of year when it's going to be snowing, so let's hope we don't run into any snow. But if everything goes good, we should be able to get home. So then we're going to have a reset at home, which means i got to stop for at least 36 hours. In the U.S., you only need to stop for 34 hours for a reset. Canada, it's 36. I don't know why. That's the rules. I don't make them. I just follow them. Get that reset. That resets my week and my logs so I can drive another 70 hours in the next seven days. Or, yeah, seven days. In the U.S., again, I know it's different. 70 hours and eight days. In Canada, it's 70 hours and seven days. Anyways. And then we'll go deliver it in Alberta next week. But let's get going. I've been yapping enough. I need to get some miles behind me. All right, every minute I waste not moving, one less minute I get at home. You know me, when home is at the end of the tunnel, very few things that will make me stop. From Hearst, there's very few services in town for the next about two and a half, three hours, I think, till we get to Long Lac, and that's even a very small little town. Not too many services up here.
you're the kind of person that looks for signs in everyday life. But if you are, right there's the water. There's the water. That's your sign. It's not time to put the boat away yet. Get out on the water. Take it out one more time before winter. Look at that. It's waiting for you. There's nobody on the water. This is Lake Nipigon. Or is it the Nipigon River? Going into Lake Nipigon. Look at that. The whole place is yours. Don't put the boat away yet. fish in there just desperate to be caught yet before winter. Don't make them stay in the water all winter. Get them out of the cold water and warm them up on your grill. places good places for us to stop already and the few places we do have to stop just keep going downhill across Canada we need Irving out here Irving is nice or flying J with good management it's too bad you know but if we talk about it maybe next time we come here maybe it'll be better we'll see we'll give them a chance to be better Place ain't for me. Home stretch. I can almost see home already. Oh, <laughs> not quite, but almost. I can sense it's getting closer. All right. 
right, so we've made it back. Uh, it was a it was a long day. I'm uh, just wrapping this vlog up now so we can put this together and get it out there for you guys. Don't mind the mess behind me. I'll get to it. I uh, got a lot to do at home this weekend. There might not be a video until uh, Sunday. I'm thinking. Uh, I got to build a ramp for Diesel. So he's having trouble getting out of the house. There's two steps to go down out of our house into our breezeway and then out into the backyard. And he's having a lot of trouble getting down those two steps. His back hips, uh, he's, he's not getting any better. Uh, so we're trying to make it easier and more comfortable for him to at least go outside and go to the bathroom. I'm slowly, uh, I'm just getting to the point where, uh, you know, I realize that he's an old guy now. He's a 13 year old, large dog breed, or medium large, I guess. And this is usually their life expectancy, you know, between 13 and 15 years. He's had a good life. He's traveled all over the place with me. He's been everywhere in the continental US, every state. He's been to every province and territory of Canada, except for Nunavut. Uh, he hasn't been to Alaska. Uh, we never got to go up there together, but uh, we were very close. We were in the uh, Yukon Territory in Canada uh, a couple of years ago for New Year's. Britt was with us for that trip. So we got to see that and all the bison on the road there. Uh, he went to Newfoundland many times over on the ferry. Uh, and for the last few years, he's been at home enjoying his retirement, basking in the sunlight in the backyard, getting pampered and spoiled by my wife. And I'm not exaggerating. He's, he's getting spoiled and uh, he deserves it. She, she treats, treats our dogs and takes care of our dogs so well. So yeah, he is, uh, he sleeps most of the time now and uh, I'll make some videos of him at home yet. I won't be able to film anything this time I'm at home because like I said, I'm gonna have to spend all my time making that ramp and we have a couple of guests coming over and uh, some visiting to do. So my time will be pretty strapped. We'll see what happens, but. Thanks for hanging out with me anyways on this trip. We're not done yet though. Remember we started from here, we went to Montreal, then we went to Valcourt, and we came back here and we're on our way to Alberta. So we're mid trip right now. Uh, we gotta deliver it on Monday. So I have time to stop at home. I rushed home so I can get a reset on my logs. That's what I'm doing now. And then we'll continue on to uh, Drayton Valley, Alberta. And a little northwest of there yet, I forget what the town's called, Yellowhead. Yellowhead's the highway, but I think it's Yellowhead County. I don't think it's in a town. I think it's out in the countryside, but we gotta get that off the trailer. And I'll probably come back after that and Old Blue needs to go in for some spa treatment, needs a good service after this. <laughs> probably a good bath too, it's dirty, dirty, dirty. It's that season though, right? The truck show season is over for us where we're at up here in Canada. So now it's time to work. Working season is here. Well, working season is 12 months a year, but now it's the real working season because there's no, you can't do anything else but work gets so cold. And with the cold comes all the salt and the, the dirt and the, the mess. And so it, it's impossible to keep your truck just shining. So I do my best. But thanks for hanging out guys. Thank you. I think I said that already. Please, uh, if you like my videos, subscribe down below. Join our videos. Go check out my playlists on my main channel. I playlists all the way back 13 years to when Diesel was a puppy. Now he's an old man and his uh, last uh, year of year two of life, probably. Hopefully, hopefully he'll live longer. But you know, to be honest with you guys, I don't know if he's gonna. I don't know if he's gonna make it through the winter. I hope he does. I think he can do it, but we're going to have to, like I said, build that ramp, take extra steps to make sure he's comfortable and doesn't have to use those hips, but we're not going to let him suffer either. I mean, so we'll, uh, we'll take it one day at a time, stay in contact with his vet. Uh, they know him well there and, uh, we'll, we'll do what's best for him in the end. We're going to try to keep him around as long as possible. I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Oh, actually not tomorrow, I'll see you Sunday. We're gonna take off on a new trip on Sunday, so. I'll see you then, tune in, hit that notification bell so you don't uh, miss it when it goes live. I might have something going up this weekend. Maybe we'll go live, I don't know. We'll, we'll see.